Hi, I just finished my radio-controlled car, second generation. A couple of years ago I made this one. You can check that out in another video on my channel. It's made of wood mostly, and breadboards. Even some duct tape. Now that I have a 3D printer, I wanted to make something a little more refined. I designed it in Blender, and this is what it looks like after a few iterations. Almost all plastic. Just some brass axles and a few uh, bolts. This is the differential. It works like a pretty basic one. It's got a pulley that turns the whole body. And if we look inside, you can see there's uh, four gears. And they all turn in unison, locked, when the car is going straight. The middle ones will spin freely, allowing one wheel to turn faster than the other if the car is turning. I designed a PCB in KiCad and milled it on my homemade CNC. It's a bit rough, but it's good enough. And here's the populated board. You can see the radio transmitters plugged into a socket. It's a single-sided board with both surface mount and through-hole components. The microcontroller is surface mount. It's a PIC-16F1829. The big capacitor was an afterthought to stabilize the transceiver. And here it is, all put together. I'm using two lithium batteries from my quadcopter, which I lost. And I also have the remote control from my quadcopter, and was lucky enough to find somebody had figured out the protocol, and I adapted it for the pick, so it can be used uh, for this car. Now the fun part, trying to operate it and hold the camera at the same time. Let's plug in the power. And the pairing is done the same as with a quadcopter. Throttle up, throttle down. There's the steering. I swear I'm wearing pants. Okay. I'm pretty happy with how uh, quick and responsive it is, and the steering is really nice. It turns very sharply. You have to be uh, pretty careful with how you move the thumb wheel. The quadcopter controller may not be the best thing for this. I may make something else. Maybe something with a wheel, like my first generation one. But now that I can 3D print, I can make it a little nicer. I have a header for another servo motor and a couple of outputs that I am not using on the microcontroller now, so I could possibly do something more. Maybe some kind of turret. Anyway, it feels good to uh, actually see it working. It was pretty challenging, especially the, uh, the electronics and getting the radio protocol working on the pick. Thanks for watching.